I'm Tyler Grady here with Adarian Alexander at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida, where the Hurricanes were just handed a heartbreaking defeat to the UNC Tar Heels, 20 to 13. Coach touched on a couple of positives after the game, talking about the punting, the second half effort, and his offense, and wanted to make sure that everyone knows this jam is not as serious as it appears, saying that there was no hangover from last week's loss, and that right now, this season is still up for debate. It just means we get to play another game here in about five days, and like I told the team, you know, football, football doesn't really care how we feel. The football schedule we have doesn't really care, uh, you know, what just happened the last two weeks. You know, life goes on. We got to get back to work, and, and we'll have to get to work pretty quick. Um, matter of fact, before we go to bed, I'm sure every coach will be working on, you know, getting started on, you know, the game plan and things of that nature. Um, but you know, it's just like I told him. I mean, everybody's. If you look at the scores across the league, everybody's battling every day. So you, you don't know for sure what can happen. You want to put yourself in position, just in case something breaks your way. You know, because it, it can it can come around. Uh, you know, so you, you just have to keep fighting. And uh, you know, it may not seem like it by a record, but you know, I do think we're making progress. And, uh, a few points that coach touched on. There isn't a hangover. But there's some things that they should touch up on. His attitude was still the same, but the attitude that I really took up was Brad Kyers. He said, there's things they need to work on, but they'll be okay heading into a short week against Virginia Tech on Thursday. We can't dwell on these last two games. Both these teams are excellent teams, and this is up in the air right now. It's all the places you get. And as a team leader, Brad Kaya's attitude is admirable, really insisting that this is anybody's conference. But it was defensive coordinator Manny Diaz who may have had the best things to say. He went in there at halftime and told his players that he needed them to come out and play Miami football. That meant fast, aggressive, penetrating defense, and that's exactly what they got in the second half. It really was a fantastic effort. It just wasn't enough from the offense at the end. On a positive note, we challenged them at halftime um, to show the drive and the character of what Miami Hurricane football should be re represented by. And I thought we, we, we sort of made a boxing analogy, which kind of came out, which played each, each series as if it was a round. And, and we, we got to stop and we got to free and out. We got to stop and you see the guys all of a sudden start to get more and more into the game. And uh, ultimately, we'll give ourselves a chance to move the football game. So, if, if, if those are the things that, in the disappointment of the loss, that I think if we can continue to build on, I think the players understand that there are there, that there's a difference in the way the Miami responds to adversity. Um, and if we can continue to show that type of toughness, uh, ultimately, in, in, in the long picture goal, uh, which is hard to see in the disappointment of the loss, but in, in the long picture where Coach Rick is taking this program, it's going, it's going to end up in a good place. To touch on the defense, they allowed no points in the second half, and they had a pivotal stop, fourth and goal on their own one. Do you think that was impressive? Absolutely. You know, it's an effort that I really do expect these guys to carry over five days from now in Virginia Tech. It's a short turnaround. But they're going to have to keep up that intensity if they want a chance the rest of the season. With SkyBoat.com, I'm Tyler Grady. I'm Darren Alexander. See you next time.